There are horrors beyond life's edge that we do not suspect. And once in a while, man's evil prying calls them just within our range. You're listening to Cthulhu and Friends, a real play pulp Cthulhu role playing experience. Starring Nika. That's so exciting. I've never been that close to Jesus. Fred. I am no doctor, but I definitely don't look good. Mike. I still haven't even got paid, which is probably not going to even happen now. Steph. All right, well, never you fear, sugar. I am on the case. And your game master, Veronica. Oh my god. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cthulhu and Friends. I am your Game Master, Veronica. Uh, And my pronouns are she, they. Hey everyone, it's Fred, and I play Thurston the Magnificent, and our pronouns are he, him. Hey everyone, Mike Lane here. I'm playing Daniel Mason, and our pronouns are he, him. Hey, it's me, Nika. I'm playing Lilith, and our pronouns are she, her. And I'm Steph. I'm playing Lucy Rosewood, and our pronouns are she, her. Oh! (laughs) (laughs) Sam, more like... Thirsty? (laughs) Thirsty. That's kind of what I heard when you said it. And, like, it... Thirst. It's it's how I spell it. Yeah. No, No, it's not. (laughs) <laughs> all right uh so what happens in this game is uh we roll luck unfortunately no one is rolling luck uh except for maybe nika if she made a kill last episode i don't think so um i don't think that she did because i don't feel like we ran into anyone mm-hmm. but the innkeeper <laughs> and he did not send us out to a barn to give birth to a bebe so i think we're good there i mean she killed it with um, that dress from coming out from true. under the umbrella with oh, the lace like, hell you yeah. know. so i mean i'm just saying <laughs> yeah that obviously counts yeah mm-hmm. that's for sure uh, yeah, so it, nobody gets to roll luck. That's where this was going. <laughs> wow. No one rolls luck. Uh, and uh, I'm lucky to have this good-ass keyboard. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. We're so focused. I <laughs> should not have taken a couple puffs. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Great decision. <laughs> Shame on me. I hate to do this to you guys, but can you guys just uh, yeah. keep it together while I go fill up my water? Her. Wow. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> why don't you guys discuss what happened in the last episode? Oh, yes. We totally remember. Well, well you do. Oh, you I, do. I was going to say, I hope you do. <laughs> You're the, you said you, I mean, you listened. Um, well, Fred and, yeah. and Nika haven't said if they listened to it again or listened to it. I did not. It, so I do have assume. one. I don't even remember recording I mean, it. Like, I don't remember anything. It was mostly just like us thirsting over Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah. There was like an he orgy. turned from a horse to a very handsome man. Uh, it was that there's a motel. Lucy came in and was like, I'm an exorcist. And everybody was like, what? But then you were like, but I'm an exorcist for the devil. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's sexy. Um, And yeah, and then we all had sex and then went out to the beach and there's that awesome umbrella vibe going on with Lilith. And there were like red and black candles. So cool. And that's what I remember. Where we left it. (laughs) uh, All I remember was like Daniel and I were in a different room. And then I was yeah. like, in my head, I was like, we have to figure out a way to get into that orgy. And I forget what I said, but we ended up like making our way over there, I think, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, I think it's something like, party. shall we? Yeah. Yeah. They're like, oh, I have this <laughs> bottle of gin. Let's go. Daniel just needed gloves first. All right. That's. So, hey, you know, I, you. I've, I've had like so many thoughts on your gloves. Like, I thought, like, maybe it's like, uh, a psychic touch thing or maybe it's like a magic thing what is the story behind the gloves are you just a germaphobe no he just um i looked it up i can't remember what it is off the top of my head 
because I haven't opened my character sheet and things in a long time, <laughs> but it's just a thing where you just don't want to touch things with your hand. Like you just don't mm. want to. And so it's like not that it's like, yeah, it, I forget what it is. Um, but it's, it's not exactly like germ related, but it's, it is still. So mm. it's like, he's afraid of touching things and getting something on his hands. But like, what about like, uh, what about washing your hands though? Like, do you take your gloves off to wash your hands or do you wash your gloves mm-hmm. because your gloves is touching everything? Wait, are you implying that like whenever they go to the bathroom, they would wash their gloves? Yeah, that's what I'm on implying. their hands. <laughs> yeah. Cause no, you're no, no, touching no. stuff uh, with your gloves. Yeah. Mostly. Cause well, think about he, it. Like usually what has are these a few gloves pairs, made but we of? went through them all. Oh, because, like, think so about dirty. it, like, you're touching stuff with your gloves because you don't want to touch it with your hands. <laughs> but then, like, what if you touch, like, your face with your dirty gloves? And, like, you take your gloves off to well, go pee and then you wash your hands, you put the gloves back on. Your gloves are still dirty from touching stuff. So wouldn't you just wash If it's gloves? primarily, like, a hand issue, not a germ issue. Though. Yeah, yeah. The like, only time we've been in a bathroom in this, in this season was <laughs> uh, when there was some crazy shit going on. <laughs> I, well, no, always, I guess there's always I guess, crazy um, shit. Always we're in a bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> yeah, the camera lady. Yeah, every time we go into a bathroom, it's not for bathrooms. Did not somebody get like a lot of strength and then pooped and lost it all? Yes. Like, I think that happened. I think that's canon. Wasn't it Ben's character? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I guess so, other than Lilith, none of us have original characters anymore, huh? Right? Nope. I'm on yeah. my third <laughs> yeah. for the season. <laughs> You've just gone through them so fast. Yeah, and I'm not certain if Lucy will survive this one. We'll see. <laughs> I'm I'm emotionally prepared if she doesn't. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh I went to go get a drink of water and then I was like, Oh, I should go to the bathroom. <laughs> And I got distracted, and then my phone just showed me the notifications, like, Geekly Inc. just went live. And I was like, that's me! <laughs> You're like, oh, I wonder what show's on right now. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> uh, you just, like, start that mean we, we uh, cooking, and you're like, wait a minute, wasn't I running a show? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was it, except I was peeing. Uh <laughs> All right, so did you guys remember what happened in the last episode? Yes. Yeah. Orgy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot yeah. about the orgy part. How, that's the um, part you forgot. About. <laughs> what other than the orgy happened? Like, I don't remember anything else. <laughs> oh, so um, Thurston bought Margarita oh, right. a an outfit. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> that did happen. Including swimsuits, yeah. apparently. Mm. Oh, and mm-hmm. swimsuits. And um, Nika and Satan himself, uh, or herself, I can't remember if this person is a, if they are gendered at all. Um, anyways, they fucked, every, everyone fucked, right? Yes. I think yeah. so. All right. And everyone, okay, I want to make sure this was consensual. Yes. Right? Of course. Yes. yes. We happily okay. fucked right. Satan. Oh my God, yes. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Um, For the record. Then we walk to the beach, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What happened? He, he like we fucked again. Put his hands on the black sand. Sex on the beach. <laughs> and like yeah. moonlight showed up, and then like there were sparkles in the sand, and he like emanated like, some some like heat or something. Like candles. And it melted the candles a little bit, and then uh, Lilith came out. I was going to say Nika, jeez. Lilith <laughs> came out, and they like walked like buy these candles and they all lit up with like a weird flame. And Perfect. yeah, he was like beckoning think- Lilith. All and did right. We es- so let's get, sorry. Did we establish what time of day it was? Is it dark? Uh, out, no, out? we didn't, okay. but um, it doesn't matter. It does to Lucy. Who's afraid of the dark. Oh no! I'm just saying it doesn't matter because okay. it's gonna be dark. okay. Oh. <laughs> quick, quick question: yeah. Is Margarita uh-huh. the only NPC other than Satan? Yeah, it's we just don't Satan have and like Rasputin 
or anybody else or oh no rasputin the, the cat is there for is, sure is mother there you've got the statue the statue yes okay. where was rasputin during never mind no. just watch him <laughs> The cat was not involved. Just avoid. smoking a cigarette <laughs> yeah. in the corner. Uh, we don't know how right. we got this little pause up there, but it's really cute. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that's it. I thought someone in the chat was saying Rudy, and I was like, did I do that? <laughs> I don't Catch a ride. I don't remember that. <laughs> that does not seem like me. Um all right, so here we go. So you we're all on the beach, and um, as Lilith is walking down, the candles are illuminating, uh, hot and bright, and there is all of a sudden a lot of cloud cover. Um, so it was kind of like uh, dusky anyways, um, and I believe that Lucy had mentioned um that she was afraid of the dark and i think that you brought something oh i don't remember what that was so i always have Um, my satchel with me with all my exorcism accoutrement and um so the second it starts to get dark i would have pulled out my flashlight and just like turned it on and i'm holding it not shining anywhere in particular just holding it close i love it uh, wish your name was Lucy Anna Jones. That'd be very good. <laughs> I think you would be a better Indiana Jones with your little satchel. <laughs> All right. So mm. Lilith is coming down. There's a lot of cloud cover. Um, and then the moon is is not supposed to be a blood moon tonight. But the moon begins to turn red as Lilith, with the statue in hand, walks to the sea and the ground gets warmer all around you let me know what you guys do do we is there anything we know that we need to do with mother and the statue well you do have an exorcist you're right oh good I'm so glad that you mentioned that Rasputin is here because my cats are in here mewing (laughs) Perfect. So you do have an exorcist. Um, Okay, Lucy, you feel this um, palpable energy that's emanating from Lucy, but, or not from Lucy, but from Lilith, but specifically from this object that's in her hands. I'm going to walk up to Lilith and just kind of like reach my hands towards her and the object kind of like I'm feeling for her aura and I'm going to say Lilith there's so much going on here is there something in need of exercising? I know there's a reason why you were brought into our path I knew it I knew it (laughs) And then she'll hand over the statue and like caress your cheek in that weird culty way. I'll kind of lean my head towards your hand as you do that. Like, "Mm." (laughs) (laughs) go on. (laughs) (laughs) And then we kiss. <laughs> I brought the wrong implements to this game tonight. Um, okay, so what do you use for your exorcism? What- First, I'd kind of like to take in, like, so for Lucy, she never exercises anything that doesn't want to be exercised so she would want to make sure that whatever's in the statue wants to leave it and find out where it wants to go um because she's all about helping spirits go where they need to go um so i don't know if i can roll a psychology yeah totally go for it okay 
You can try anything. Ooh. 31 out of 88. So that's a hard success. Wonderful. Um, so with that, what does that success look like for you? Um, am I able to communicate with? With a hard success? Sure. Okay. So I, I would just hold the statue up close to my face and start whispering to it. Um, and I would say, hello in there. I... I'm going to help you if you want help, but I just want to make sure that I know where you want to go and that I can help you on that journey. The statue is made out of this uh, very deep looking jade. Um, so it gives you the impression that, you know, to the untrained eye, this would pass off as a jade statue but you can see that there is something special about the rock that this uh is is from <clears throat> and from deep within it you see this glow and it almost feels like electricity in your hand as it begins to pulse everyone else can see this as well can i kind of understand what that means um from the energy that you're getting and typically you know as you've gone through and done this the spirits that do you want to be exorci exorcised um they tend to reach back out when you reach out to them instead of like just disappearing or acting out in a way that would be hurtful to you or other people in the room Oh, Lilith, this is perfect. I think, I think they're ready to be free of the statue. And I, I think I feel ready to help on that journey. So. Perfect. It is All time. Right. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm also still holding my flashlight, by the way. I should have mentioned that. Okay. <laughs> um. So, I think I'd like to roll in a cult. Go for it. Thurston, as, um, as Lucy begins this kind of deeper spiritual work, I'd like you to roll listen. And you can roll that with advantage using, uh, because you have this occult knowledge. Is advantage just rolling twice or do I just re-roll a certain die? You re-roll your 10 stuff. 10s. Okay, well, I rolled a 14, so unless I... Yeah, I'll keep my 14. 14 versus what? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything in it, so it's 20%, so it is a success. Okay. Um, go forward, Lucy, and unless you're wanting to keep anything secret, um, Thurston will hear everything. I don't know. Lucy doesn't keep secrets <laughs> she, she's shameless so um i and i rolled a 24 on a cult out of 88 and i would like to spend seven luck to make that an extreme success okay so what does it look like whenever you use your occult powers to access this um, alternate dimension? Um, so it usually depends if Lucy's um, trying to appear like a, like a Catholic exorcist, or in this case where she knows she's among friends, if she's just mm -hmm. being herself. Um, because she, she has like, a journal that looks like a Bible, like all these fake things that she can use if she's trying to make it seem like that. Um, but in this instance, um, I think uh, she would just kneel on the ground holding the statue and her flashlight um, and just like starting to kind of like hum little like soothing, soothing words at it and um, basically just sort of like charming and coaxing the spirit out of the statue just like a very 
peaceful and calming way, which is sort of like the opposite of like your standard exorcism. Okay. So as you do this, the statue begins to vibrate as if it's kind of trying to push the spirit out of it. And it almost seems like as much as the spirit wants to be freed from this cage of sorts, the statue wants the spirit out just as much. Um, So it's really interesting to have the two joined parties kind of still wanting the exact same thing. I'd like you to roll sanity. (laughs) 15 out of 75. So wonderful. I'm golden. Um, So you see um, as you close your eyes and you're really just closing your eyes to blink, but then your eyes are just kind of glued together, kind of like you have pink eye Um, and you begin to like try to open your your eyelids but they're just stuck together and you feel this uh drawing of yourself into the statue um as though it doesn't want this entity that's in it to be inside it would like you to come inside instead But instead of being lured into the statue, um, you're able to resist and um, kind of stay with the with this other spirit, latching yourself on as this other spirit, which now you see is kind of an older woman um, as she's kind of crawling her way out of here. Um, Thurston, as you're watching this happen, you can see that Lucy's face is kind of like this big ball of light that is now being pulled and stretched toward the face of the statue. Um, And to everyone else, this probably just looks like she's concentrating really hard. But to you, it feels and looks like her skin is being stretched uh, to wrap around this statue, but she keeps pulling herself back. Uh, uh, Daniel, old chap, uh, is this a swap of sorts? Uh, is she supposed to put herself in the statue to rescue uh, whatever this person in the statue is? You know, I'm not sure. Um, we've been lugging around the statue for a little while, but I'm not sure what they wanted to do with it. Uh, 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 Lilith... So, what is the end game here? What are we trying to achieve? Are you sacrificing this Lucy for whatever's in the statue? Oh, well, I don't know. We're just getting Mother out of the statue. What is needed to do that is what's needed. Well, I, I think she might need some help. I, I'm not quite sure, but it does look like... Uh, it might be trying to take her. <clears throat> uh, where's Margarita? Hello, everyone. Because <laughs> I've just it, been here, it? sitting in the beach. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't Margarita out of character? Um, yeah. <laughs> wasn't Margarita supposed to come with us so that she could be the vessel? Yeah. Okay, so yes. Margarita's got to get sucked in. Yes, get the Margarita over. Help Lucy, please. Oh, Wasn't well. she supposed to be the vessel for mother? mother? Yes. She's got to help you. But then Margarita herself should go into the <laughs> statue. Oh, 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 okay. I see. Because if it's saying. a body switch, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I like familiar with this type of magic? Yeah. I mean, you've certainly seen it performed before. Whether or not you have um, taken part in this type of thing, uh, I'll leave that completely up to you. But this would certainly be something um, that people in your circle have uh, successfully uh, participated in. Um, So I have a talent. It's called Arcane Insight. Um, It allows me to learn spells half as quick 
and it also gives me a bonus die to spell casting rolls. Uh, so, and is Satan nearby? Is, is he just like hanging out with us as well? <laughs> what is Satan doing? He is on the beach and his arms are sort of splayed out to his sides and down. Um, you can see that he initially started on the ground with his palms touching the sand, but he's now in a standing position with his arms extended out, palms down, and you can see just this steam and lava as he is pulling it out of the ground. Um, okay. And I came with Satan, right? Like originally I, he was yeah, like an equestrian that was the form point and then I showed up and, okay. Um, <laughs> hey, oh. Satan's a gentle lover. He made sure we all came. <laughs> Praise Satan. Uh, so then, I, I guess like, I'm just going to go along with what I assume everyone's desire is, is that Margarita has been chosen as the vessel that we are swapping her for this entity in this statue and i see lucy is kind of struggling with with this transfer so i am going to support her okay so i will roll a cult sure thing okay would this be considered spell casting sure yeah i right. think so for sure oh zero zero three i am not going to even roll that over and my occult is a 90 so that's like oh. a 300 time extreme oh my god this might be a short game <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we all win <laughs> so everything goes. um lucy are you standing or kneeling i forget what you said no i was i kneeled down with okay. the statue um, as you're kneeling down with the statue, you feel as Thurston comes behind you, and it's almost like um, he has spiritually turned into these gigantic gargoyle-looking bat wings behind you, um, and you're kind of just getting enveloped in these wings of power, and you're feeling not just your normal powers, you're feeling something else. And your eyes turn yellow and look toward the ocean. And you see that there is a creature, something hideous and bigger than you could have ever imagined, just lurking beneath the sand. And Thurston, as you look up as well, you now see that these chains of lava or this, I'm um, sorry, you can now see that these streams of lava coming from the sand and into Satan's hands are turning into these giant chains. And he begins pulling something out of the ocean. And these chain links are probably the size of your biceps like each individual uh piece of the of the metal um so they are very large and he is pulling them effortlessly to get this thing out of the ocean and you can see this huge tidal wave as it's kind of coming toward you lucy while you're in there, in the mind of whoever this person is, you heard Lilith call her mother, and that kind of led you down a path. And you can see this baby crying um, as it's being born. It's still covered in all of its um, its mother's uh, uterine, you know, junk or whatever. You've got all this white and blood and just all the stuff. Um. And you can see that it's Lilith as she's being born. And the person that they put the baby into their arms looks like the same facial structure as this mother person that you're trying to extract. And you can watch this lie happen as mother's mother takes the baby away from this young, young woman. She's probably a, a kind of like mid-year teen. And 
she kisses this new mother on the forehead. And you watch as Lilith is raised as a sister to this person. And you can like look down into, into like this mother psyche and you can see that the person that has sired Lilith is multi-dimensional, multifaceted. They're not of this plane, but also were meant to rule this this plane. Do I get the impression that she would want the secret kept that Lilith is her daughter? She doesn't know that you can see it. Okay. And that's just like a vision I'm getting as this Mm -hmm. is all happening. Okay. It doesn't Um, seem like a vision. It seems like accessing like core memory. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Thurston, with so, your extreme success, you would be able to leech this information um, off of uh, Lucy's psyche. So I'm aware of everything you just said? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, uh, with that successful role, do I see Lucy kind of getting a hold of herself more and then the transferring to Margarita? Or will that take more effort so as mother um kind of gets closer to the surface you know that you'll be directed to kind of push her into margarita um because she's just going to try and come into any body that will accept her um and so it's taking some amount of like time and space to figure out how this spirit will react once it's pulled from the statue. Daniel, what are you doing? I would imagine I'm just watching at this point. Popcorn. And Lilith, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I feel like Lilith would be like standing nearby in a ritualistic pose which feels like it would be kind of arms akimbo but like palms out Mm -hmm. maybe chanting okay so as you're all sort of enraptured at the things that are happening here on the beach and very focused on what's going on um You can feel as Mother Spirit gets closer to the surface, and it just feels very heavy and weighty, as though the air itself has become thicker, because what you don't see kind of lurking behind you is a huge leash or double leash that's been bound around this gigantic being that has been pulled from the bottom of the ocean by Satan. Its monstrous body is hulking over all of you. It's much larger than you could really fathom. Its eyes are dark and it's peering over you. And what you feel as your own atmosphere is just the exhaling breath of this creature whose face is bedraggled in tentacles and its wings kind of unfurl. And you thought that it was dark and night outside, but a darkness that seems to have seeped into your eyes so that you cannot see light is now taking over you. You feel as you are being physically, mentally, and emotionally torn apart because this creature is standing so close to you. Lucy and Thurston, with your incredible successes to pull out Mother, she does come out of this statue 
and you and Thurston kind of like push your hands in a way that you believe is going to push this spirit into Margarita. But that isn't what happens. You push this spirit and it goes into the sky and into this creature that has been hulking over you. Everyone roll sanity <laughs> as you look up, as the spell finally completes, the atmosphere is broken. And you watch as this hulking creature above you is ready to kill. Each of you will take 12 points of sanity damage, regardless of how you fare. Oh, boy. Well, to start it off, I rolled a 21, so I am feeling pretty good. But my sanity goes from 80 to 68. <laughs> Yay. I rolled a 97, <gasps> and who? <laughs> um, and it says that my max sanity is a 79 and uh, my my other sanity is a 60. 60. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. I mean, you're not good. <laughs> like, that I was very feel confused. Very, very bad. Okay. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm saying your reading is good. You're seeing these numbers correctly. That's what okay. I mean. <laughs> Nika, you're good. Lily, very, very, very <laughs> not good. <laughs> She's it's gonna be bad. I do have 48 luck points. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to get eaten. <laughs> All right. I rolled a 26. I feel like I'm going to regret it. I'm going to need that roll later. Mm -hmm. uh, under 70. So now I'm down to 58 sanity, but I am sane. Okay. Lucy. I rolled a 55, and my sanity is now at 63. Oh. Would I... I don't know if I would have been able to tell, um, or if you'd want me to roll for this, but would I feel like Mother willingly chose to go that direction, oh, yeah. or that she was pulled? No, no pull. All, all fly. Okay. All bullet. Yeah. Okay. She wanted that. Okay. Um, and you can all see now, um, as this light goes from the statue into Cthulhu. And you can see as Satan drops this leash and turns around and you can see him screaming and almost fearful and he's like grasping at this light that is faster than he can kind of move as though he wanted to be the one to go in. And this person is now taken no. his place. He reaches out his hand toward Lilith. I take it. I love Satan. As this light gets closer to, to this creature, you hear as he speaks in this unknown language that kind of sounds like if you could hear the earth and the tectonic plates just sort of shifting and moving against each other underneath the ocean. That is what his voice and the language sounds like. And you watch as he turns into this menacing creature, horns growing out of his head, uh, fur kind of all over his body. And you can see when you're looking down these hooves that have now appeared and these vicious razor sharp claws as he puts them around your neck and you can feel blood already 
drenching your breasts and going down onto your abdomen. You can feel your life being pulled away from you. And this light stops. Lucy Thurston, you can see this whole thing happening. And it just seems like he's going to try and hold Lilith hostage. Because this person, this entity does know everything there is to know. He knows all secrets. And so he's going to try to threaten this mother by ripping out the throat of her young in front of her. I'm going to call out in that moment and say, Mother, you have to save her. It, she she loves you. You can tell her who you are. You watch as this um, woman kind of makes her body into a form and she smiles down at Lilith and says, no. And she just flies backward into this creature. <laughs> Bitch, you thought. <laughs> I feel like Lilith would just like look up with like eyes up, but then tears just like <laughs> running down her face with like oh. silent crying. Like she she accepts it. She knew she was going to oh. die for this. It was all part of it. Well, not new, but obviously. <laughs> uh, Satan pushes you to the side, seeing that you were ineffective in giving him what he wants. Um, and wow. you watch as your blood just sort of washes into the ocean and your eye is being stung by the salty water. Well, your mad. nose is filling with this stench of rotting fish and flesh. Margarita walks over to you and places her hands on your neck and you feel this sensation of goodness. And it doesn't feel great to you, but it does feel like it might let you live. Okay, okay. And um, the rest of you watch as Margarita tries to heal Lilith. And this creature, this half goat, half bat, uh, flies off of the beach with Lilith's blood kind of just shedding off of him as he flies toward this creature who has now become uh, possessed by mother. And you watch as lightning just sort of crashes all over you or all over the beach. Um, and you're seeing this fight as it kind of takes over this entire beach and it doesn't last very long at all. And you watch as this powerful being, um, something that you have known from lore, not just your own lore, but something that has been kind of taken over by Christianity and used as a creature to keep children in line. You can now see that this creature is dying on the beach. And uh, the creature in the ocean falls down on its fours and devours this being that you thought couldn't die, picks it up in one of its tentacles and crushes it sucking all of its liquids into this tentacle. And you can see as its green, dark green um, coloring becomes this red as you watch this creature's life force get sucked into its mouth.
And then you see Margarita as she looks up to this creature and raises her hand toward it. Lilith, you are weak, but alive. And Margarita steps over you. And initially you think it might be a shield yeah. against you. Um, but it doesn't look like she's thinking of you at all. Okay. Okay. Thurston, you can see this like blue light coming out of Margarita as she sings some sort of like song into the sky. And this creature swats at her and she gets thrown into the mountainside beside you. Um, but she stands up and walks back singing this whole time in this kind of weird language. It sounds like the opposite of the infernal language that you heard Satan speaking and almost seems like a celestial language. And you watch as the skin starts to kind of peel on this creature where it touched her. The skin of the creature's hand that swatted her is peeling. That's right. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to definitely be watching margarita and and maybe trying to learn what type of magic this is like you know where i may be more familiar with arcane this might be like more of like a divine or like you said celestial type of magic Mm -hmm. but um i would i kind of look around what is daniel's and lucy and i obviously i know lilith state but like what is their facial expressions are they looking like this is something that we're going to be combating together or do they look like this is way over our heads. Uh, no one looks like it's something that they're going to be able to take <laughs> over or take on. Uh, everyone is kind of, uh, I'll let everyone speak for themselves, but I will say um, the general vibe on the beach is doom. So <laughs> <laughs> we're fucked. Okay. Yeah. Let me know how you're feeling. So Daniel is fascinated. You see him mouthing words and then like looking at different appendages and kind of like taking mental notes. This is so much larger than the Bay Area Kraken. And it has some sort of wings on top of that. The tentacled face is kind of odd, though. Very interesting. Daniel, old chap, if uh, you have some kind of large sword to attack with, or maybe some kind of magic, this would be the time to use it. What? <laughs> no, there's nothing we can do about this. But So you plan to lay down and die on this beach? Like this Satan fellow? No, not at all. I plan on serving and seeing what I can learn. I mean, she did want to go into that creature, and I'm all about, uh, you know, spirits consensually going where they want to go. I'm going to go check on Lilith. Okay, bye. Wait, wait, L- Lucy, <laughs> what, what, did it, weren't you in service of, of Satan? Weren't you his exorcist? Yeah, I'm a little conflicted right now. Um, Mostly I help his uh, demons, spirits, whatever you want to call them, um, get from where they want to go. Yeah, I I am like sort of falling apart inside without Satan, but like also I, I just don't know how to put it into words. And, um, I do think it's pretty great that I helped with that whole thing, because then maybe the monster won't kill me, so there's that. (laughs) Meanwhile, you literally watched it (laughs) not (laughs) save. I know. It's so funny. (laughs) (laughs) And and with that, I'm going to, like, scurry over to Lilith and... (laughs) 
<laughs> kneel down beside her to see what state she's in. <laughs> I'm falling apart without Satan. <laughs> 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 in the words of Lucy, the vibes of the beach are a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Lucy's sanity points are okay, but I think, like, her capability of, like, processing things like this is just not there. <laughs> and, and to think, like, Satan being such a powerful entity like in a lot of our lore to see that battle go the way it did so quickly is very disconcerting yeah um, what what is like <laughs> am i yeah i i can tell power like do i find margarita powerful or is this just like is she just gonna get herself killed oddly you don't think that she is powerful at all you think she's a conduit and there is another player, something unseen in her. Let me know if you want to probe that. I, you know, I do because like I'm torn on like which side of the fence I want to play. Like obviously <laughs> the right choice is to go with everybody else and, and see if we can maybe offer ourselves to Cthulhu and join his <laughs> campaign. But uh, I'm intrigued by Margarita and, and what this other player is. So let's, uh, what would be uh, the probe? Uh, why don't you roll an occult for me? Uh, okay. So that was a, a really bad roll. It was 86, but I get to, I guess this isn't spell casting though. So, I did succeed because it's under 90. Right. I forgot that you have a 90. Yes. <laughs> I also have All a 30 right. Cthulhu Mythos as well. Just uh, so Ooh. everybody's tracking out that. Wonderful. Wow. So um, you are able to like push past any barriers that her tiny human mind have kind of put up as a shield and as you're wanting to probe this uh, this other being, you just see this inky darkness behind her. And as you walk forward in this state, it just seems like you can't hear what's happening on the beach anymore. And then suddenly you look down and you see that you're definitely in a room, in a place because you're walking on this black ink and your shoes are dripping with whatever this substance is. And as you tilt your head up, you see in the distance that there's some kind of a chair and there's definitely someone or something sitting in it. Do you approach it? I will. As you get closer to this being, you can see that all of the inky darkness is actually coming from its hands and feet and head and its heart. It's just pouring out of itself, making itself a throne of its own essence. Uh, but as you get closer to it, you see this mouth as it opens up sharp razor teeth behind cracked old lips. And it says, Hello. Hello. And are you here to serve me? Well, if it means that I can overcome whatever this tentacled faced winged creature is, I think I can offer myself. Do we have a chance? Well, my brother is <laughs> stupid. Uh, so, yes, yes, I'm counting on it. If his little spawn doesn't get in the way. Well, I think I could handle anything else that comes our way. I, I seek power at all. I, there's all I desire, and 
if you will provide that power to me, I think we have an agreement. Roll Cthulhu Mythos. So 31, I will spend... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll spend 16 luck points to make that a hard success. Yes. Perfect. Okay. As you agree, as you open your mouth to agree and speak your last sentence, this inky darkness kind of just shoots into your mouth. And it feels kind of like you are trying to drink from a fire hydrant. It's that forceful and that much. Um, and all of you kind of watch as Thurston has been just closing his eyes and then when he opens them, his eyes are dark black. There are no whites in his eyes. With your successful Cthulhu Mythos uh, role, you know that you are now a servant to Nyarlathotep, whose goal here is just to see what can happen. His greatest desire is to trick this tentacled beast into eating Margarita. Interesting. Okay. As you kind of take a couple of steps, as you're kind of moving around, when your body moves, you feel like you're learning more and more about how powerful this being is as well. And you just saw as this creature that you now know to be Cthulhu, um, how he just murdered with no trouble at all, this all powerful being, the, the, the thing that you thought was the most powerful uh, living, breathing entity that inhabits this planet. Um, you know that the on the flip side, well, the one you serve has also killed God. So that's fine. It seems like an even match that this uh, entity of goodness that was kind of taken over by uh, these Christian values that's been killed as well. So there is no balance in this earth anymore. And you watch as Margarita walks closer and closer to the edge of the sand. Lucy. You see Lilith's blood as it's still draining from her, but as it kind of pops out of her neck, you can see that it's just flower petals. And they're just floating into the ocean. Oh, Lilith, are you okay? You're... I mean, you're just... Flower petals is so lovely. I'm dying. Not okay then. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to fix this. Um, could we stop the bleeding? Does it feel like if I put my hand up to it, does it feel like blood? Yeah, it does feel hot. Okay. It does feel like there's something uh, pushing, certainly your heart pushing uh, okay. blood through the injuries. You're, you're bleeding petals, darling. Thurston, I'm dying. <laughs> Please help. Uh, I thought you were a vampire. It's... Uh... Are you living? Is that what you mean? Are you coming back alive? I, oh my I thought God. you were already dead. Are vampires full of flowers? For some... Christ, help me! Uh, Daniel! Can you maybe put some first aid on her? I have a... I don't know, a creature in this... Large creature to take care of. Can you take care of Lilith for me? It's her mother, though. Is she full of flowers? Okay, Lucy, just sit down. Uh, let, let's let's put you down over here. Um, if there's anything you do to help, uh, please do so. 
I'm going to reach into the water and just sort of start picking up the flower petals. <laughs> he watches Rasputin kind of crawls his cranky old cat ass over to Lilith and starts licking at her wounds, just taking her blood and looks up at you like, oh what? <laughs> and just keeps licking. <laughs> Where, where did this cat come from? Has is, is this cat been with us the entire time? It's Rasputin. Why are there so many questions? Please, God, let me die now. I, I didn't know you believed in God. That's... I don't. Oh, okay. Good. He's dead anyway. <laughs> Mother ate him. Thurston, <laughs> what's, um, what's going on with your eyes oh i it's it's the magic I, when i cast magic it um, takes over me a little bit uh nothing to worry about now uh look i am going to need your help i need you to distract this big thing here or help lilith and maybe just calm lucy down i don't know if she's having an acid trip i don't know what's going on with her but um i i think we have a way to possibly overcome this creature maybe trick it or run away i don't know um this is all happening very quickly i don't think i can run i don't know can we hear you or did you say it specifically too i hope you can hear me i'm talking okay. out loud to everybody i i'm <laughs> not speaking to dad over here i'm uh, sorry you have, you have lost a lot of blood yeah. i must say I'm going in and out of things. I, I'm so sorry. I th just didn't want to intrude on a private conversation while I was dying or aliving, as you said. Well, I, are you still a vampire? Do you have your powers? I think so. Can someone well, give you... me blood? Yes, drink Lucy and get back to, <laughs> to this battle with me. Come on, get yourself together, woman. That's <laughs> What? Here, yeah, Lucy, come just, help me just up. Just a little bit. Just a little, you know, just take a little bite. You know, Everyone you don't have to drink your fully. Oh God. Just a little appetizer. Oh Satiate your taste. <laughs> All right. Everyone uh, roll listen for me. I rolled a 20 out of 80. So a hard success. Okay. I'm too distracted right now. My mind is... Going a million miles a minute. <laughs> Plus you're by the ocean, which is kind of loud already, right? I rolled a 40 and my listen is a 20. Okay. So. Uh, Lucy? Oh, yeah. And uh, sorry, Daniel. I rolled a 12 oh, wow. out of 40, which is a hard success. Wow. Wonderful. Uh, so... <laughs> So those of you that can hear here, as this uh, vehicle pulls up kind of near uh, the parking lot or, you know, the place where tourists come and park uh, to get to the ocean. And you see this, you know, long car and this woman that's illuminated by this bloody moon. And she just runs off of the cliff and jumps down toward you. You see that there is, out of the night sky, a huge murder of crows that just come and fly around her. And she's just running one on top of the other as this uh, cloud of crows is uh, kind of spiriting her really down to where you are. This woman hits the ground running. Um Daniel, you specific, I mean, you know, this person, she's the former president, or uh, whatever of the hospital. And she runs over to Lilith, puts her wrist over her mouth and just slices her wrist open, the blood dripping into Lilith's mouth. <laughs> That's good. You don't want Lucy's blood in. <laughs> it might be fucking flower petals. <laughs> it might be a trip. <laughs> oh, Lilith 
Elizabeth, as you drink in this uh, person's blood, a blood that you now share memories with, um, you know this person to be extraordinarily important to you. Uh, you're quite protective of them because they were sired by the same entity. You feel like the most comfortable person, the most comfortable name that you have for this person is just a number in your mind. And you look up and you see 42 as she's now standing over you, not so much trying to save you, but letting her blood run down her middle finger as she's just flicking whatever onto you. And um, this murder of crows is just circling around you. And you see that the other daughter of Satan is here to help you. This is so cool. I get up if I can get up. Yeah, you can get up. You feel real good now. Okay, I get up and I get ready to go kick ass. I don't know what we need to do. But I look at 42 and I say, sibling... Together we shall make way for this new world. She turns her head at you and says, yeah. Or not. Whatever you want. I follow you. Oh my god. Well, I will protect. Um, let's go. Thurston. Um, let's take this bitch down. Right? All right. I've got an idea. Our goal is we need to make sure that it ingests Margarita. But right now, I don't think it's going to do that. So I want you to run towards this creature with all purpose of attacking it. Allow it to eat you. And I will use my magic to switch you and Margarita so that it eats Margarita. At these words, 42 kind of snaps her fingers at Daniel and just sort of beckons him to get behind her, like, for protection. (laughs) Ah, yes, that's probably a good idea. I'm I'm sorry, I'm confused. Lilith, you're killing your mother? I'm kind of confused, too, but it just felt right coming out of my mouth at that point. Um, you know, she did just leave me by the wayside, but this is what we wanted. Um, I'm really conflicted. Oh. I too am lost without Satan. And Oh, right. It's just like this like hole in my heart right now. Look. Like a Satan shaped hole. Listen, this creature has killed <laughs> the one you love, Satan. And If this is truly your mother, Lilith, it has scorned you and left you for dead. We have to band together and take this person out. We cannot allow this creature to reign. Wait, no, actually, Thurston, I'm sorry. You you feel wrong, if I may be so bold. Um... I mean, we're just in an epic fight with an incredibly powerful creature that is more than likely going to crush us at any moment, but please, go ahead and argue. Well, you know, if not now, when is the right time to do it? That is um, right. Okay. I, you know, like I said, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. I don't know how. I, I think that I want this to happen. I think I want it to happen. The, which okay. which part? The killing of the creature with me or, or no. the opposite? No, the opposite. I think I want the creature because humanity sucks. So and are we saving the creature or killing the saving creature? the creature saving the creature okay. and then the rest of my celestial siblings and I shall rule the world with the help of our parents I mean there's this big hole so <laughs> I I'm so sorry that I have to tell you this, but um, our parents, they are dead. Oh. I mean, like, honestly, you can see our father. Yeah. He just got... Wait, that was our dad? Mm-hmm. We fucked. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I fucked your dad. I was, I'm sorry. I could smell that. <laughs> I wasn't gonna... Um, 
<laughs> I wasn't going to bring it up. No one said it beforehand. Why didn't? Why are these conversations not typical? You know, I think he was actually a bad guy. Gonna go ahead and say it. Hmm. You might be right. Well, he was certainly good at some things. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Um, Veronica, I, Nika, am feeling very conflicted. I can go either way on if we need to kill Cthulhu. Um, Me too. (laughs) It's really a win-win for me. (laughs) Um, Wow. Okay, I think let's go for it. I'm going to just run my ass into the ocean and try, like, I'm going to wholeheartedly attack Cthulhu and I'm just gonna run out there and I'll say get ready Daniel oh do you want me to like try to exercise her while you're doing that as a distraction you have great ideas after we made the most dramatic plans please my god Lucy that's brilliant yes yeah. exercise the entity okay. out of Cthulhu it might put them in disarray and give us the moment okay. that we need sure of course Daniel, do you want me to start now or like? Oh, when yes, you yes. Go? go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And Daniel, uh, just, uh, I guess, just stand there and look good. You're doing fine. That's kind of what our family is good at. Yes. Wait, is he related to? I'm confused. Aren't we all? Uh oh. What? Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's my nephew. Jesus. I'm not good with family trees. This is very confusing. This makes last night very confusing, yes. Let's yeah. not talk about it. It's more it. of a family log. That was in the past. We don't <laughs> We don't need to right, think I'm about gonna, that like, anymore. I'm gonna do an exorcism now. So. <laughs> I like Veronica. I like that we're talking about um abject horror and you guys are a little weirded out by a great orgy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Well, some of us are. I, I mean, my dad was there. <laughs> uh, okay. Can I'm, I'm going to kneel down. clairvoyance to determine, like, what Cthulhu's trying to do next? Oh, very good idea. Do it. Man, the low rolls continue. That is a 31 out of 40... I will spend 11 luck points to make that a hard success. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, As you (laughs) clairvoy into Cthulhu's mind, I'd love you to roll sanity. (laughs) Uh What? What? (laughs) Hypothetically. What if you rolled the number? What number? I forget. What number? The number that your sanity (laughs) is. I think it's a meter beat. Right? Oh, well, that's cool because I rolled it. a 58 and I have 58. Okay. Okay. Unhypothetically. <laughs> uh, all right. You're going to take uh, 10 points of sanity damage. And you'll watch as this creature kind of walks you through the. Uh, the bang that creates this world and how unimportant it was and how fun it is to, you know, come around every few, you know, millennia and uh, figure out, you know, what kind of horrors you can put on the earth. And you feel as the skin on your face is trying to rip open as your brain is swelling and pushing against your skull and you can feel the cracking uh, of your face and everyone can hear as Daniel's head just sort of uh, explodes in front of you. Mm -hmm. All of you are covered with this uh, brain matter and everyone should roll sanity. (laughs) 
I got a 24. 41. 41. Great. Everyone take three points of sanity damage as you are hit with uh, the brain matter of your of your comrade. <laughs> and he begins walking toward you with his uh, teeth exposed. And you see 42 as she turns on her heels and begins fighting against this a hulking out brain busted creature that now has tentacles kind of coming out of the spot where his brain was and pouring over his face. And you have this little miniature creature that looks very similar, or at least is beginning to look very similar to the creature in the ocean. Go ahead and make your rolls to try your best to send Margarita into this creature that is now taking over the bodies of people on this beach. Fuck. <laughs> All right, Lucy, start your exercising. Yeah, okay, okay. And I'm clutching my flashlight, like, white-knuckled at this point. And I'm going to kneel down and... Wow. Um, I rolled a 15 out of 88, which is an extreme success on a colt. And I'm just going to start doing a similar kind of gentle chant okay at cthulhu you watch as the head (laughs) sort of like turns in your direction but isn't necessarily like looking at you or i guess it's looking at you but isn't bothered by you more like a did someone turn on a fan you know what (laughs) a tower Mm -hmm. fan on a roomba (laughs) (laughs) You're not going to do anything about it, but yet there it is. <laughs> Thurston, what you going to do? I start just spouting infernal language as I start to pull arcane magic around me. I'm going into a spell casting bout as black ink starts to flow out of my eyes and my nose and my mouth. And I am just trying to concentrate as much energy into this next spell. Okay. Lilith, what are you doing? Um, I have anything cool like that. So I guess I'm swimming out still following Thurston's plan to go attack Cthulhu. Look, Naruto run up his shins and just strike at whatever vulnerable parts he has. His his wang is like a third leg. You could just like <laughs> punch just punch saying, his that wang. Isn't real. <laughs> That's <laughs> not real. <laughs> it's like one of those things. <laughs> yeah, a little punching bag. <laughs> uh, I punch his balls. <laughs> I step on him. <laughs> Uh, you do see that Thurston, you do see that the creature is distracted by the multiple things happening. Lucy <laughs> trying to pull this, uh, this mother creature out and around and, um, also Lilith kind of running towards him as with ill intent. Um, so <laughs> if you want to take your chance now to, uh, to do this swappy swap. So do I feel like Cthulhu is going to like attack or eat Lilith while Lilith is like charging it? There's no way that you would know that. Okay. So then I'm going to uh, cast this spell um, and I won't kind of like reveal it until like a a certain point, kind of the effect of the spell. Okay. Okay. So I rolled a 30 um, out of 90. So I think, oh no, I think 22 would be an extreme success, which means I only have to spend eight luck points, which I do. Okay, great. Um, You do this thing and tell me how Margarita enters the gaping maw of this creature. 
Yeah, so I imagine like Lilith is <clears throat> kind of like using their vampiric powers to kind of just be a fly on Cthulhu and is just like clawing and biting and attacking it. And as Cthulhu goes to like just swat or eat Lilith, I am going to switch out Margarita for Lilith. And then I'm going to bring Lilith back to me and then throw Margarita into Cthulhu's mouth. Okay. So as Lilith creates this distraction, yeah, she does kind of uh, feel like almost like a fire ant that's biting. Um, And so she's doing that over and over again. And you feel this swat. And as you come up in the hand of Cthulhu, you're really hoping Thurston like pulls this out because it's just pulling you closer and closer um, to a tentacle that you had just seen Satan get absorbed into. Um, and all of a sudden you are on the ground, hands pushed up toward this creature standing in front of what would have been you know, your body at some point. And you see as Margarita is completely absorbed by this creature. Holy shit. You did it, Thurston. Thank God. Well, thank I whoever. I worked. I was sure that it would have worked, but I, I mean, yes, of course, of course it worked, yes. You watch as Daniel's body um, is still fighting, like hand hand on, you know, hand to hand with um, forty two, who does not seem to be much phased by this. And you watch as Margarita is completely absorbed by this creature, um, and then a couple of minutes pass where the creature is just sort of standing, not moving just standing and Daniel collapses his body, his decapitated body, right? Collapses on the ground. And you see this rotting that's happening. Like his flesh has been in the hot sun for days and days. It stinks. It's a horrible smell. And then you see as this, creature in the ocean kind of stumbles backward and then it falls next to all of you you feel this shaking of the ground and its skin is peeling off it looks as though it too has been lying dead in the sun for days and days, weeks and weeks, kind of like a whale that's been found beached after many, many days. And you see flower petals kind of coming out of every little bit of it. And you watch as they wash over the now gentle waves of the ocean. And you see as 42 picks up a single red rose petal and she walks it over to Lilith and places it on her tongue. Her clothing changes into these red robes and she turns around her makeup is like completely threatening um these gorgeous red lips with clearly predatorial fangs coming out of them and you see as this murder of ravens pulls up 42 and Lilith and flies them away from the beach. The rest of you, or sorry, Lucy, Thurston, Rasputin, (laughs) 
are right there by the ocean. And you see this vortex happening. And it looks like it's just a bunch of flowers making the circular frame. And you can hear the ocean on the other side. Let me know what you do. I told you she was full of flower petals. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Um, Sue, is this your doing? What is this? Por- is it a vortex, a portal? What? What is this? Oh, me? No, this is... I've never seen anything like this. It's really beautiful, though. Uh, what? Uh, can I assess, like, is this, like, something that we're supposed to go through? Like, is it... Am I familiar with this type of scenery or magic? No, you're not familiar with this at all. Has the beach itself, like the ocean, has that changed? Or is it just like a flower petal portal? It's just like a flower petal portal. How about you, Kat? Uh, Anything to say about any of this? (laughs) Don't you talk. Are you not a talking cat? You watch as Rasputin turns around and walks through the portal. Well, uh, I don't know about you, Lucy, but I feel like maybe we're supposed to go through this thing. I mean, that it, it, it does feel sort of right. I mean, a, a cat wouldn't go into danger. They run from, like, earthquakes and stuff. Why don't you stick a hand in and then pull it back out and see if anything happens? That sort of feels like you're putting me in danger, but also I just really want to try it, so... Then we're in agreement. Okay, give it a try. (laughs) I'm going to walk up towards it, and can I first roll, like, a, a colt or something to see if I can... You can try anything feel some kind of negative energy or anything. Ooh. Zero, zero, and zero is a hundred, right? (laughs) So close, but yet so far. So, so far. (laughs) Okay. And what was that roll in? A cult. Uh, A cult? (laughs) Oh, good. Yes. Perfect. Uh... (laughs) You walk. Okay, wait, so what were you trying to do? See, now I have to really think about this. Uh, sorry. I, I was can't just to... yes and you now. <laughs> I was trying to just sort of sense um, if there was any sort of negative energy coming oh, off Oh, I of see. This. No, you don't feel any negative energy. You but... know, Thurston, I think it's just fine. I think it just needs a leap of faith. And I'm going to step through it. <laughs> Why'd you make that noise? <laughs> it's totally that normal. Mike. That wasn't me. That was Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that was Paxton. It was the cat. <laughs> I w- I w- yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the best thing is when a player's like, I'd like to roll this very creepy thing. I got a 100. And I'm like, seems fine. <laughs> They're just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good. It's fun for me. But uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> welcome to season two or <laughs> season five, Lucy. <laughs> Oh, that's where it leads. <laughs> well, I guess uh, if the cat and, uh, well, uh, for lack of a better term, my new assistant, Lucy, went through this portal, I, I would assume it's safe for me to go through as well. Do I feel like there is any eldritch being trying to communicate to me and into not going into this portal? No. Well, you're serving the uh, fuck around and find out guy. <laughs> 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 Well, I guess in the essence of fucking around and finding out, here I go. 
and Thurston steps through the portal of petals. As you both step through this portal of petals, Lucy, you arrive first, Thurston kind of right behind her, um, and this cat kind of sits between you, and you see the most beautiful landscape in front of you. There are tall, fantastic towers that look as though they are the height of some sort of a technological world that you can barely fathom. It seems like some of those, you know, wild and crazy idealists that were in your former world have finally gotten a place where their ideas actually work. Um, But the ground is very organic. So in addition to being this high tech kind of world. It's all very green and lush. And you see as someone is running past you and they look distressed and you see these police officers sort of running behind them and you can very clearly see what the sitch is here. And um, the police officers pull their gun And the person turns around and you watch as a bullet enters their forehead, splattering you with flower petals as their head explodes and they turn into this cloud of beauty. And that's where we're going to call it for season four of Cthulhu and Friends. We'll be back next season, season five. Uh, This was our last episode with Nika Howard. Thank you so much for playing with us. Oh my gosh. Thank y'all. It's been so fun. And um, I made it the whole way through alive. Oh my gosh. Well, undead. <laughs> Barely. Well, undead. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Alive, yeah. then undead, then existing. <laughs> yeah. oh, so we'll have a new oh. special guest um, next <laughs> time. So nobody else knows who this special guest <laughs> is don't. except for me. Yeah. Oh my oh. gosh. Um, but I think you're going to be extremely excited uh, to find oh, out whoops I have up my sleeve. And um, I think we're probably going to come back after the new year because it's really hard to do holiday podcasting. Yeah. Um, so in any event, thank you so much for supporting us. Um, I'm very sorry that it took such a long time for us to get back to you. We certainly had a lot going on um, in our private lives. So um If you want to find out more about the show, um, specifically when we're going to be recording, you can follow us on twitter.com slash CAF podcast. You can find me at I think I'm Fred. I'm at one gaming lane. You can find me at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at Starlet Firefly. And I'm at Typical Veronica. Join our Discord. That That's a more wholesome place <laughs> to, to be. <laughs> Join our Discord, guys. Because uh, I'll tell you what, I'm not on Twitter very much now. And um, we'll see you next time for Season 5. Bye. 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 See you next year. This episode was edited by Steph Kingston. You can find her on Twitter at Steph O. Kingston. This episode was produced by me, Veronica. The intro was composed by Rob Anderson. You can find him on Twitter at Hey, It's Birdie. The voiceover in the introduction was provided by Rick.